Okay, Tim, I think we had, we sort of had a similar question to this, I think only last month, but I'll read it out and see what you think. Uh, if the rumor for the 4000 series from NVIDIA is arriving in July instead of September or October pans out to be true, where does that leave Intel Arc? So we've already talked about these GPUs in our opinion just being way too late in the game. Yeah, and I think the... Again, we have no idea. We're not under NDA or anything, mm -hmm. or we don't know whether they're coming in July or not. So no idea whether that's true or not. But if, yeah, it's kind of just, it's basically exactly what we were talking about last month in mm -hmm. terms of, geez, they're kind of getting really close to the next-gen GPUs. And then if, it, if NVIDIA series comes out in July, it's pretty likely that they'd be launching at basically the same time, yep. which is... Probably not what Intel was hoping for. No, they're really going to be budget, budget GPUs now. Like they're, what they were yep. hoping to be sort of their mid-tier RTX 3070 competitor is going to become more of an entry-level product. Yeah, and they'll have a lot of implications for pricing, I would have thought. Like yeah. maybe they originally thought, oh, we could launch our best Arc GPU for, let's say, $450 to $500 because it's we think it can compete with the 3070. It was a year ago, it could have been 800 Yeah, and now it's like... Well, maybe we can only charge three hundred and fifty or four hundred dollars for that GPU. Mm -hmm. And yeah, as you say, it could have been eight hundred dollars a year ago. <laughs> so they've kind of gone from if they had launched, especially towards the end of twenty twenty one, when GPUs were extremely unavailable, mm -hmm. that that was like the golden that was the golden window for Intel Arc to launch. People were desperate for GPUs. You could just yeah, the I'll buy anything. I'll literally buy anything. The drivers could have worked in half the games. Yeah, and people uh, would be like, they would they just clear their inventory yeah, straight away. Oh, something's available? I'll buy that. Mm. Whereas now it's like not only are they launching in a period where availability is decent and a mm. lot of cards are at the MSRP, especially in this sort of price range, they're coming up against next gen. So I think it's a, a pretty big fail. Yeah, I mean, we won't get sort of mid-range to low-end next gen GPs probably till next year, yeah. uh, I, I would expect. Potentially, so there's a little bit more of a window there, but it's still way too close. It still reduces the the prices oh, that they can charge, which absolutely. is not not good for them. Yeah, well, again, even the current generation GPUs, like you know the RTX 3070, well, that's probably a bad example because that hasn't fallen as much, but it's it's going down. Yeah, but RDNA two GPUs now are what MSRP? Some are sixty seven hundred XT four hundred eighty dollars is possible, mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. sort of you know sets the bar for a 3070 like product from Intel. So mm -hmm. yeah.